Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I shared with all of you that I was going to be doing something that I love to do every few months to save money and get more creative in the kitchen, and that is to do a pantry purge. We did a whole pantry refresh and reorganization last month, so this month I decided to go ahead and utilize what we have in our pantry, our fridge, and our freezer for the most part buying very few groceries in order to, like I said, save some money, be more creative, and just kind of use what we have, reduce that food waste. So what I thought I would do is I would pop in every week for you guys at the end of the week and share with you how that week went. I will share with you that week's meals, how much we actually ended up spending at the grocery store. Hint, the first week we definitely ended up spending a lot more than I had planned, but there is a reason for that. And I'm just going to share with you each week kind of how the pantry purge went. So it is Saturday today, so we are done with our first week of the pantry purge. Now, my goal was to spend as little as possible on groceries with a goal of about $40 a week, which is about a quarter to a little bit less than that, or a little bit more than that, I guess, of what we typically spend weekly on groceries. Typically, we spend anywhere from $100 to $150 on groceries, depending on the week, so I was trying to spend as little as possible. Last week, I ended up teaching a meal prep cooking class. So that meant I needed to spend a little bit extra on groceries because there were some ingredients that weren't included in our pantry, our fridge, and our freezer that I needed for that class. So I ended up spending $60 total, which is still about having our grocery budget, which I think is pretty darn good. So we spent about $60 and we still ate really well all week long and we didn't have to go back to the store. So for breakfast, the kids kept it pretty simple. They drank these little drinkable yogurts from Aldi. We had toast with butter and fruit on the side. That was what they wanted. I think towards the end of the week, we added jam to the toast because that was interesting to them. But for the most part, that is what they did. And I meal prepped some really delicious lemon raspberry yogurt jars with some granola on top and then just a little bit of almond butter to make it a little bit more filling. So I did buy the yogurt and the raspberries, but I already had the granola and the almond butter. So that was kind of a, a part pantry meal. And for the kids, the only thing that we ended up buying were those drinkable yogurts. So they had something with a little bit of protein alongside the toast that we already had. And then for fruit, I just got them some grapes and they had that with breakfast and lunch. Um, they also had a few of my raspberries as well. I really wanna make sure that even though we're doing a pantry purge, we're still making sure that our kids and myself are actually getting those fruits and veggies as well. So that's what we basically did for breakfast. For lunches, I ended up doing my meal prep peanut chicken salad. I actually have a quick video of how I make the peanut chicken salad, so I'll go ahead and link that down below. But I had that pretty much every day. One day I did have leftovers because that sounded good and we had a lot of leftovers from the night before. And the kids, I did buy some deli meat for the little one for preschool. We had some cheese sticks left over in the fridge. And then they had some tomatoes and I had some leftover cucumbers. So that was kind of what they ended up having for lunch. And my big kid ended up having leftovers alongside me as well. So super easy on the lunch front. We only ended up buying that deli meat and some veggies for them to have alongside as well. And we went through those this week. So they were definitely the fruit and the veggies. So those are definitely a good purchase this week. And then for dinners, I ended up doing most of my meal prep ahead of time in the meal prep class, so that made things happen so much easier. But one of the things that I teach when I teach about meal prep in my meal prep course is to utilize similar ingredients. So I actually utilized some things that we already had on hand, like I still had half of a head of red cabbage and I ended up having some celery and onions and carrots on hand as well. So for dinners this week, I made my Asian turkey lettuce cups so I did end up buying some turkey for that but I bought a big pack of turkey so I could use it in two different recipes so we did have turkey a uh, ground turkey twice this week but it made it easy and then I also bought some lettuce and some mushrooms for that as well and these are all included in that $60 that I ended up spending so I made Asian turkey lettuce cups one night and then that was the leftovers we had the next day 
We made Tex-Mex turkey taco pie, which we only had a tiny little bit of leftovers left over because my daughter absolutely loves it. So she ate the leftovers for lunch the next day. We also made my sweet potato, kale, and white bean soup. Sometimes I add chicken sausage to this, but we just kept it plant-based this week. And I made my quinoa fajita casserole as well, which is just peppers, onions, quinoa, some chicken that I shredded in the Instant Pot during my meal prep, and just some, some fajita style seasonings as well. And then I'm trying to think of the last meal we ate. Oh, we ate my Moroccan chickpea bowls from my Balance in a Bowl ebook. I will link that down below as well because I love meals in a bowl. So we had leftover quinoa from the quinoa fajita casserole. So we used quinoa, we used chickpeas that I just roasted up with some cumin and paprika and garlic powder and sea salt, so delicious. We put that on top, I roasted up some carrots, I added some cilantro that I had had, that I had purchased for the quinoa fajita casserole as well, so, and the, and the uh, peanut chicken salad. So utilizing that for a couple different recipes there as well, some green olives that we already had, some golden raisins we already had, and I topped it with an herb yogurt sauce based on things that we already had as well because I bought that yogurt for the jar. So we really, really utilized what we had this week, even though I ended up spending a little bit more and I did end up buying, you know, a little bit more than I had planned. We used pretty much everything that we had in the fridge and my fridge is pretty bare right now. So my whole goal is that I am going to go to Aldi and I'm going to try and spend as little as possible and I'm just gonna stock us up on fresh fruit and veggies. And my little one does love to drink milk as well. And so we'll buy milk about every couple of weeks um, because we don't use a ton of it. So I'm probably gonna buy her some milk and some veggies and that's going to be it for the week. So that is week one. I will come back next week and check in with you for week two. Hey friends, I am back to share week two of our Pantry Purge adventure this month with all of you guys. I think we are doing pretty darn good. Last week I shared that I went a little bit over budget because I had a larger cooking class that I was teaching last week. This week I just had a smaller cooking class, so I did end up needing to go and get a couple of those ingredients for that class. So I ended up spending about $15 on those ingredients and then about $20 on groceries for the week this week. Yes, only $20. So I spent about $35 total, which I think is still pretty darn good. It's about $5 under my goal budget, which is only $40 a week, which is about a quarter of what we normally spend on groceries. So I think we are doing pretty darn good and we definitely ate well all week. We actually ended up eating out a couple times or out of our home a couple times this week um, just because of holidays and being able to see friends. So I'm still counting that as being a part of the pantry purge because we weren't eating at home and uh, we were we were utilizing where we were instead of what we have. Um, so let me go ahead and kind of backtrack to Sunday and share with you our meals this week. So Sunday was Mother's Day, so we had a really great time as a little family in the morning. We went on a little family hike, and then we had ice cream for lunch, and then we met up with my parents in the evening, and we had some afternoon cocktails with my mom, got to hang out with her, and had some sushi that we all loved, so nobody had to cook on Sunday. So that was kind of our fun little day on Sunday, and then when Monday rolled around, we hit the ground running with cooking meals at home again. So on Monday, I made an almost entirely pantry meal. The only fresh item we used was some fresh broccoli because we love to have fresh vegetables with our dinner, at least fresh or, fresh or frozen vegetables with our dinners pretty much every night. So I made bonza pasta, which is a chickpea-based pasta if you're not familiar. I've talked about it here on the channel before. It is my favorite pasta option if we're not adding an additional protein to the side. Because it's made from chickpeas, it's packed with plant-based protein and fiber. No, they don't sponsor me. I just love it and my kids love it. So it's a great solution for a quick dinner that still has carbs, protein, and a good amount of fiber in there as well. So that was the base to our meal. And I also made some of my homemade cashew cream sauce, which is one of my favorites and one of the kids' favorites. It is almost all pantry ingredients as well. It is just some cashews, lemon juice, sea salt, water. I also like adding some garlic powder and onion powder, though those are totally optional, and I will share with you what I did with it to transform it a little bit. I love serving it over pasta. Oh, I forgot, nutritional yeast as well. Um, and that makes it really taste like, um, kind of like a vegan 
cream sauce or a vegan macaroni and cheese sauce. And so we serve that over the pasta and then I serve that with some roasted broccoli on the side, which is my kids' favorite vegetable. So we eat broccoli a lot in our house because if they're gonna eat it, I am going to make it. On Tuesday, we ended up hanging out with some of our close friends who we hadn't seen in about a month. They had spent some time down in Florida and now they are back and did the whole quarantine thing and now we were able to hang out with them again. Um, so they invited us over for dinner. We had planned on making some Fresh Max Balance Bowls, which is from my Balance in a Bowl e-cookbook. I will put that link down below. It is 30 different bowls and bowls are one of my favorite weeknight meals. And these are an almost entirely well, pantry and freezer meals. So they use black beans and corn and cauliflower rice. Of course, you could use regular rice as well. And the only kind of fresh items I use are some um, cotija cheese, or you could also use some feta cheese as well. Um, and then I also love adding some cilantro and some fresh tomatoes on top of that too. Um, but you could also use salsa instead. It's really, really easily modifiable. So that's what we had planned on making, but our friends invited us over and we weren't gonna say no. We had a great time with them on Tuesday. And then um, on Wednesday, Wednesday, I was like, all right, I gotta cook dinner again. <laughs> so I actually ended up using pretty much all freezer ingredients on Wednesday. I'm really trying to utilize what we have in our freezer because it's pretty packed from some recipe testing I did in the past couple of months. So I had some fajita marinated chicken, I love this fajita marinade. It makes fajitas so easy. I will also put that link down below. I have four different mar uh, chicken marinades to upgrade your chicken on my website. And so I just defrosted the already marinated chicken. Once it was defrosted, I just sliced it up and I cooked that in a grill pan and I, I cooked up some frozen peppers and onions on the side. We served that over some tortillas, some almond flour tortillas that we already had in the freezer. Um, and then we just had that alongside. We had some cilantro on top. That was one of the fresh ingredients I got last week. And I also served it alongside that same cashew cream I used on Monday. I repurposed to make a chipotle cashew cream and I just add a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of chipotle powder and maybe a little bit more salt if it needs it to that cashew cream sauce and it becomes a really delicious drizzle sauce for the fajitas. So that is what we ended up doing on Wednesday. On Thursday, I taught another cooking class that was um, two nights ago now. So for my cooking class this week, I have to think about it. What did I cook for my cooking class? Oh, we made tacos. <laughs> so I used the leftover taco shells. So we're still utilizing what we had, some frozen wild Argentinian caught shrimp from Trader Joe's. And then I used a bag of slaw mix and I made a delicious honey lime slaw. So still using pantry ingredients there, used some mayo. That was actually my fridge, not my pantry because I had already opened it, but some lime juice, some honey, and just that slaw mix and more cilantro on top. And I used um, an almond flour and taco seasoning blend for the shrimp. It's like a um, kind of slightly crispy breaded chicken, a chicken shrimp with almond flour. And it is so tasty. So that recipe is also on the blog. So I shared that in my cook with Chris. And then Friday night was just a leftovers night. It was just eating everything that was left in the fridge. So we had like a little bit of leftover pasta, a little bit of cashew cream sauce, a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of taco stuff. And it was just kind of throwing it together, quesadilla, taco, pasta, kind of whatever you want, free for all. That was Friday night. Great way to use up what we have on hand. And now it is Saturday and I am actually going camping with my daughter, my seven-year-old. And uh, we are going to, I don't even know what we're gonna have for dinner. I think it's grilled cheese. I think we're gonna have grilled cheese for dinner, but that's gonna be with her Girl Scout troop. So I'm not really worried about that. And the little one is free to do whatever she wants to do with daddy while I am camping with the big kid. So that is what we ate this week. Nothing crazy fancy, but it was delicious. We definitely used a lot of the things that were in our pantry. We didn't spend a ton of money. And I am excited to dig into next week's meals because I have some pretty darn good meals planned. Hey friends, checking in for week three of our pantry purge. And this week was a little bit of a weird one. On Sunday, I recorded a podcast with my sister and one of my best friends, and we had such a good time doing that. And we were up at my parents' house, so we figured we would just stick around and have dinner with them. So my mom had some frozen burgers, so we fired up the grill and I made a really easy pesto pasta salad. and. 
and um, I actually shared that over in the blog. So I'll link that one down below. It was really delicious. And I ended up using some of my pantry ingredients as well. I already had some pasta, so I brought the pasta over with me. My sister had some pesto. My mom had some veggies. So all we really had to buy was some mozzarella and some buns for the burgers. And thankfully my mom covered that. So I consider that one a pantry meal. And then Monday was our first real pantry meal of the week. And it was actually mostly freezer based. Um, so I did end up getting some broccoli and I already had a pepper in the fridge. And so I made my teriyaki chicken bowls. I had some pre-marinated teriyaki chicken already in the freezer. So I just took that out, added some chicken broth to it and popped it in the Instant Pot, shredded that up, cooked it with some rice from the pantry. And that was dinner on Monday. And then on Tuesday, our friends invited us over for a barbecue. So I knew that we were gonna do this ahead of time. So I bought some buns. I had a bunch of meat in my freezer already. So I brought the meat over to them. So that was another pantry win. So I did have to buy the buns but I brought the meat over to them and then we ended up having a salad which we kind of like all collaborated with. I brought some strawberries and goat cheese and my and I, then I made a dressing with pantry ingredients and it's my go-to salad dressing. I'll put it down below because it is so delicious and uh, really easy. It's just like Dijon mustard, avocado oil, honey. Um, that's basically it. Yeah, some sea salt. Super delicious, super delicious. So that's what we had for, and then she had greens. So that's what we had for dinner on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, by the time Wednesday rolled around, we had had kind of a busy week already and I was pretty tired. It was my youngest daughter's dress rehearsal for her little outdoor dance recital on Saturday. So we decided just to do something super easy. There wasn't a ton of leftovers left in the fridge. So we decided to grab something out of the pantry. The kids had mac and cheese and I just had a leftover bowl with the leftovers from Monday. So that was really easy. So that's what we had for dinner on Wednesday and then Thursday I did a cook with Chris so I made salmon burgers and that was quite a few pantry ingredients like panko breadcrumbs and of course the lemons that I buy every week I did have to buy some basil and some salmon for that um, but it was overall pretty simple and I just threw together a salad to have and we had dinner with my parents that night as well so that was pretty easy. And then Friday, I did end up going out to eat. It was one of my best friend's birthdays. And so we decided to go and check out a new local brewery and then get burgers at a place down the street. So we didn't actually do a ton of pantry cooking this week, but I wanted to be honest and really share with you how all of this is going. So that's what last week looked like. And next week, we are going to do our best to eat pretty much entirely from the pantry. I did end up getting a couple of groceries, which um, included some groceries I needed for a cooking class I was teaching. So I ended up spending $28 um, in addition to the stuff that I had already bought the weeks prior. So I ended up spending $28, but that's all I'm spending for the last week, the last official week, though I have a feeling we still have quite a bit in our pantry and our freezer. I'm still gonna work on working through those over the next month as well. I know that there's definitely gonna be more times to grill at my parents' house or eat at our friend's house over the summertime. So I wanna, when we do have these meals at home, I do wanna try and use what we still have in our pantry. So that's where we're at now. We're going into next week with some really delicious pantry meals on the docket like my zucchini enchilada casserole and my Moroccan chickpea bowls. We're going to make those again. Um, so I'm really excited for those meals. So I will check in with you next week and share with you what we ate in our last week of our pantry bird. Hey friends, I am back to share with you week four of our pantry purge. I can't believe we made it all the way to week four. This week we only spent $28 on our initial haul of groceries and then I did have to go back for a couple items later on in the week and we spent another $12, so $40 total. This brings us to a total spending of $185 on groceries for the entire month, which is totally crazy and literally less than half of what we normally spend on groceries every single month. Um, so I think we did a pretty good job of saving on our groceries. Like you know, as I shared in the 
previous segments when I came on and shared with you guys, we didn't necessarily stick to like eating at home every single meal. We had some meals with friends. We had some takeout. We did do a lot of leftovers in between. We definitely ate less takeout than we normally do. We definitely saved a lot of money. We definitely used a lot of what was in our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry, but we weren't striving for perfection. The whole goal was just to use what we have first. And so weeks like last week, we definitely ate at friends' houses more often. And then weeks like this week, we kept it really casual and we ate at home pretty much the entire week except tonight where we are getting Chipotle because we are celebrating. So let me share with you what we ate this past week. So we had some leftover produce in our fridge I really wanted to use up. We had some sliced carrots and we had some zucchini and I looked in our, in our cupboards, in our pantry, and we had all of the ingredients we needed for my zucchini enchiladas. It's a zucchini enchilada casserole. I actually just posted it to my blog recently. So I will link that down below. It is delicious. It's black beans and corn layered with zucchini, enchilada sauce and cheese. And we had all of those ingredients. I literally didn't need to buy a single thing. So that was our first meal of the week on Monday. On Monday, Sunday we had leftovers because I had taught a class last week. And so all we needed to do was heat up leftovers. So um, Monday we had enchiladas and then Tuesday I used up those carrots and I made my Moroccan chickpea, go chickpea bowls. Another recipe that I actually didn't need to buy any ingredients for because I actually even had herbs on hand to make the herb yogurt sauce. So it is chickpeas and quinoa and roasted carrots and a really delicious herb yogurt sauce, um, some green olives, some sultanas, which are golden raisins, some almonds. I actually shared it over in my Instagram stories because it's such a delicious bowl. It is in my balance in a bowl ebook. I will definitely link that one down below um, because it's still on sale if you guys want to snag that. Um, it's 30 different bowl recipes um, plus 60 recipes to make over 100 combinations of bowls. They're my favorite weeknight dinner. So pretty much every week you'll find us having some sort of meal in a bowl. Next night, I actually ended up recreating a recipe that I had created on a whim the week before when I was having a little barbecue with my sister and her boyfriend and my mom and the girls. And we had made this really delicious pesto pasta salad. So it's pesto, mozzarella, pasta, and some grilled vegetables. I used some zucchini again and some pepper, and I just happened to have those left over in the fridge. So once again, we used everything we had in, or we, all of the ingredients and more ingredients that we already had in the pantry, fridge, and freezer. I'm losing my words today, but this is the last week sharing with you guys about all of this. And last but not least, the last meal I made that week was actually a modern caprese salad, a kind of a caprese salad with a twist for my Instagram, Cook with Chris Live. And we had that alongside some frozen butcher box salmon burgers. I love the salmon from Butcher Box, and this is our first time trying their salmon burgers, which were really delicious. I love making homemade salmon burgers, but the these ones are awesome for a really quick, they came together in like 10 minutes um, on the grill pan. You could also grill them as well and you can cook them from frozen. So they were awesome. I had some leftover basil aioli, so I put that on top and that was, that was our meal. And then Friday we did leftovers again because we had plenty of leftovers from the meals I just described to you. And now, tonight, our last night of the week, we actually have a gift card to Chipotle that we're gonna use. So we're not even spending any money on it. And then it is Memorial Day weekend, so we're gonna do a barbecue on both Sunday and Monday. And then that brings us into June. And so that was our entire month of doing a pantry purge, eating, family of four for only $185 for the entire month. This isn't our typical grocery budget because I do tend to do a lot of recipe testing. So we tend to be a little bit closer to double that and sometimes a little bit more, but we do like to eat on a budget. And this was just such a good testament to how helpful it is to look at your pantry, look at your freezer, look at your fridge and just decide what you have. Start there when it comes to creating your meal plan and save some money and save some food waste as well. So I'm really happy we did this this month. I'm excited to continue that pattern as we go into June, though June's going to be a little bit of a crazier and definitely more relaxed month when it comes to food. We're definitely going to bring these principles into the next month. And a few months down the line, we will probably do a pantry purge again because that's just, that's just what happens. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this series, really sharing with you guys every week how I am kind of making the pantry purge work. I know these are all in one video. Um, 
but I really wanted it to be so you can kind of see the sum of everything throughout the month. Um, but maybe next time I do a pantry purge, maybe I will do a series. So, so we'll see. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more um, budget-friendly meal ideas, definitely leave me a comment down below. Like this video and subscribe for more delicious, easy, and simple meal ideas.